To the brand new ICTV. Uh-oh. We're going to do something new. Um, we figure since Justin has this cool video equipment, we might as well bring some uh, informative, helpful shows uh, to some of our IC members. So we're going to reach out to you for ideas. We're also going to reach out to you for a theme song. Um, that'll be coming up on the IC, so you'll see that. And uh, what we're going to do is Justin has something he got in the mail. He's going to unbox that. We're actually going to teach you something today. That seems to be a question everybody asks, and that is... How to ship stuff. How to ship stuff, because it's difficult. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to teach you how to box up men on cards, stuff like that, so they make it through the mail, or so they at least have their best shot. Um, first off, let's start off with what Justin has. All right. What did you get? I don't know. I got this package today. It's from Dorkside Toys. Dorkside so, Toys. Um, here, let me show you the... Uh, let's see. Here we go. A little close-up shot. There you go. Of, uh, uh, what we got here i don't know exactly what's in this because i order a lot of crap yeah so happens. yeah i don't really know but uh we'll see my guess is it's not vintage i wouldn't think so from dark side <laughs> <laughs> i'm betting pop if it is we may have to cut this segment and call it a day <laughs> um all right so it's definitely a pop that's what i got my money on pop you are wrong! Oh. <laughs> so, we've got the Chirrut Imwe ah. Black I mean, Series the force, the force is one figure. Yeah, pretty neat. Yeah, there you bad, go. Well, but I can't really work a camera. I'm sorry. Um, so, here. Give that a give that a gander. And uh, we'll see what else is in here. Let me switch out to the wide shot here. And um, He has very poor posture. Yeah, I noticed that. He's a little hunched over, yeah? That's the way he is, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. And then uh, the other one anyway. is Bay's Malvis. So, let's see. They're friends. They are friends. They're buddies. They're, they're one with the Force. The Force is with them. I am going over here. So, it's 36 Oops. and 37. Those are the numbers. So, <laughs> there we go. Hey. Um, I don't know. What do you think about Bay's? I, I didn't look at Chirrut. I think he's all right. His face is weird. Uh, Pasty face. Chirrut's face. Huge forehead. They didn't get the eyes right on Chirrut either, but um, I don't know. Here we are. How did they get the eyes wrong on a blind guy? Well, they're not white. Look. Yeah, but his weren't white. They were blue. They were just cloudy. I think that's good. Do you? I think he's better than the other guy. Look at his head. What? Okay, yeah. You know, this actually looks like the head is like not supposed to be on this figure. Yeah. It, it's well, it looks like his hair is incorrect yeah like it's just glued or something he kind of has a sokatano thing going on with the hair yeah. you know what i'm saying i don't know they're neat so i like the characters in the movies there you go yeah so they're good in rogue one that will go on my rogue one shelf so there you go fresh off uh fresh off the boat well not the boat because dork sides in tennessee Airplane? right no no I don't know. mail yeah, truck uh, mail truck mail truck fresh off the fedex yeah whatever anyway Huh. So, um, yeah, those are available, and I think they're also available from Entertainment Earth. I think that's where Trent got his. So, if uh, if you're looking for those, go, I'm not looking for go those. get them. I like this kind of stuff you see back here. Yeah, so, vintage men on cards. Yeah. You can't really see the vintage in front. There's men on cards right there. There's yeah. vintage over here. Uh, vintage oh, you guys can't see that. In there. No. Maybe one day we'll turn them around. Something like that. Yeah, something. Yeah. I don't know. So, um, shall we get into our teaching moment I guess of the day? we can. Um, I don't know how this works. Is there a way to pause and we move, or is it all live and we just got to keep going? Well, we can, uh, we can go into the segment, and then I'll cut it, and then... All right. All right. So that so, sounds good. So coming up next, we're going to teach you how to ship stuff. All right. It's Darth Vader! Watch out! And he's got a lightsaber! It's Kenner's Star Wars action figures, each sold separately. I got you now, Ben Kenobi! With R2-D2 and C-3PO. There's even Chewbacca and Han Solo. Someone's coming, Chewie. Who's there? It's Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker. Now I know the Force is with us. Darth Vader, R2-D2, C-3PO, and other Kenner Star Wars action figures, each sold separately. Okay. okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, we're going to do some shipping. Uh, to start off with shipping, what would you like to ship? I brought stuff. I um, we have many different items here. It's an acrylic case. 
I brought this Reese, which I broke on shipping to me. So we have a nice card with a bubble. And the right. bubble, if you notice, sir, we have never met before. No. Okay. No, not at you all. You notice that the bubble has no dents, stings, or scratches. That is correct. Uh, yes. It is lifted, and we'll put a figure in there for for uh, reference. But for now. Do you need a Reese figure to go in here? I no, have, no, no, I, I have it. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to start off with uh, shipping some loose. So what I do with shipping loose, let's see, what do I have here? I have a Death Star droid. You can open that up, Justin. Death Star droid. Oh, there's a Reese. We'll use him, too. That's relatively tight joints for a DSD. Oh, it's coming out of my Relatively. <laughs> yeah. And he's still got black on his eyes. Yeah, not Amazing. bad. Okay. If you're shipping one figure, and you're trying to keep costs very, very low, because you're only doing one figure, you're just trying to get reused to a friend, whether it's overseas, whether it's in America, whatever. You're going to want to put them in an acid-free baggie, not this baggie that I have them in currently. <laughs> so you're going to want to take an acid-free baggie. You're going to want to put them in there. Just make sure wherever you buy them, they'll know what it's for. And you got them in there. And then you're going to want to go with bubble mailers. Now with bubble mailers, I highly suggest many different sizes of bubble mailers. The reason why I suggest different sizes of bubble mailers is because the best way mail a figure cheaply and safely is to take one bubble mailer, put your figure in the bottom of it, roll it, so it's like that, and place it in another bubble mailer, and seal it up. Now, that'll make it pretty much anywhere in the world um, for about $4. So you can get out friends, uh, you can ship to friends overseas very easily. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, that's one figure. If you start getting up to numerous figures, what you're going to want to do, I usually, whenever I'm shipping in the United States, because it's uh, they allow you to ship first class with uh, boxes, and it doesn't cost too much, a couple bucks. Um, so what I do personally, I get these boxes. I get them at Staples. Um, you can get them at uh, pretty much anywhere. They have them at Walmart, everything like that. They're very easy um, to put together. Just fold them. You do a lot of shipping? I see origami. Yep. I no, see origami. I don't do a lot of shipping. See, I do do a lot of shipping. But I don't do a lot of selling. I do a lot of buying. Yeah. And I end up having so much that I do have to ship some and sell some because that's just the way it is. So you take one of these. You can either go with bubble wrap or else. Can you grab those packaging peanuts? Yeah, packaging peanuts. You can either go packaging peanuts or bubble wrap. You just throw in the figures with the bubble wrap and the packaging peanuts. Seal it up. And see, this is very good. Okay, that's very solid. Now, if you want to keep costs down for shipping overseas, but you have a couple figures, more than one, maybe something important, you might want to put insurance on it, but sometimes people overseas request you not to as they have to pay VAT tax, stuff like that. Uh, it's a tax on imported goods that they have to pay in a lot of these countries. So but, what does uh, that mean? When they get something shipped to them, they then have the to pay a fee? Whatever the price it says on the item label, like say they buy something for $1,000. And it says $1,000 on the insurance value on the item label. Right. When they receive that, before they release their package, they have to pay a VAT tax. What a VAT oh. tax is, I think it's like 28% of something. Holy so, smokes. Yeah, it's completely insanely high. Um, the reason why I learned that, I bought a, uh Irish 3-pack that got shipped from Japan to England for me. And I got creamed on the VAT tax. So can they... So who holds it then? Like the postal service? The postal service. And they'll just hold it yeah. until you can pay it. Exactly. They'll what keep it if you don't pay it. Oh, really? Yeah. Bummer. Well, what so I there's do, like postal workers over there that are flush with vintage because people have. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I've had some stuff. Let's go be a postal worker in like Singapore. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, the next thing, uh, if you're going to ship something that's important, I do this a lot now. The differences between me and some others is if it's a yak face and I'm shipping it overseas, I'm willing to ship it this way because I have many yak face. Is <laughs> yak faces? Yak faces. Yak faces. Yeah. I have many yak faces. Yak faces. So if one disappears. It is what it is. But you know what? It, knock on wood, it's really... I've had great luck shipping. I've shipped a million items. They always get there 99.99% of the time. I think I've lost one thing. It was being shipped to me. It was a vinyl cape job off eBay. Mm. And it did walk, but the reason why it walked is because somebody stole it. Uh -huh. But anyway, I got my money back for that, so whatever. Now, we can take a couple figures. Um, put them in a bubble mailer for safety. By the way, the bubble mailers do not add significant weight. Right, they're very, very light. So, so for it doesn't hurt for the act, the added security that it gives you. Invest in the extra, and if for how much are bubble mailers, Mike? I mean, cents on the dollar. Cheap. 
Yeah. yeah, I mean, maybe 15, 20 cents each. Yeah. I buy them in bulk. I buy a bunch of different sizes, and I'm going to show you why. I get a lot of these left over. Um, see, as you can see, it has Christmas stuff on it. Um, <laughs> but I get these free from the post office, and sometimes they're left over. I do use them in the United States for uh, small flat rate boxes uh, okay. for priority mail. But now here's the trick. You can take this, and it's $7 like that. Okay. Okay? Now, if you buy different size bubble mailers... Ah. $2.60. Big difference. To ship. That's cheap. Because it's Anywhere in, a in the mail. United States, and imagine how much actual size and figures. You could put 10 figures in that. Yeah. It's going to run you two bucks. Across the United States, it's tracked. It's not insured, but to tell you the truth, I have never heard any wonderful stories of people getting a bunch of money from insurance when a Star Wars figure gets ruined. So, there you go. Take that with a grain of salt, do with it what you will. All right, now we're going to move on up. All right. So we're going to open this up. You can open that up. Okay. We're going to move on up. We're going to move on up to the Minon card. So once you get in there, throw that reuse inside there. We're going to tape him down, and then we're going to show you how to ship a Minon card. That'll be nice. I buy boxes. It's easier. They're brand new. They come out clean. Everybody likes to get a new box. Um, I get them off Staples. I get a lot of my stuff off Staples because it has an easy reorder button. So There's an easy button. There really is. And then we're gonna... You want me to tape in the weapon or no? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> For authenticity. There is your... Ooh, we just recarded a figure. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> You can tell. Yeah. It's, <laughs> the crack down the side kind of gives it away. What I do, bare minimum, three pieces of tape, one across the middle, one on each flat. That way it's never going to come apart. Make sure you push it down, press it. Now, with a mint on card figure, there's a couple different ways. My favorite is the star case. Now, a lot of people put inside the star case, they put, we're going to put this reuse inside the star case here. And he will, oh, what we're going to do is we're going to tape down that bubble just a little. So we'll still see if it comes off, but it won't. But uh, that way, it won't just be pretty much loose. So we'll just tape reuse just a tiny bit there. So it's still, if you notice, it's only connected to the bubble. I don't know if you can tell that. Take my word for it. Anyway, we're going to throw them in the star case. Now, I don't know if you've seen, mm -hmm. but a lot of times people put stuff inside star cases. Ah, uh, yeah. They put in popcorn. Mm -hmm. They put in... I've done that. Yeah, they put in toilet paper. They put in a whole bunch of other stuff. Sometimes this works. Here's the thing. My personal preach about the star case, this was invented for a purpose. Now, the purpose of this is so you can do that, and it doesn't wreck anything. Right. When you fill the empty space... Now, look. Notice the bubble, no dents, no dings. I just beat the heck out of it. Right. When you fill the empty space with stuff that takes that space, when it crushes, it's going to crush your bubble. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if there's 10 popcorn right here, that bubble's going to be wrecked because you put stuff inside a star case. Got it. Personally, I say leave it alone. Star case is made for a purpose. Let it serve that purpose. So what we're going to do is we're going to package this one up. So I got boxes here, and we're making boxes. We made a box. Nothing in the box. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take packaging peanuts. Um, packaging peanuts you can get from Staples. Uh, you can order them online from Uline, stuff like that. Me, personally, I get all mine from AFA because they just send me gigantic boxes with little tiny things in them. I save all mine from my Amazon Yeah, just boxes. save your packaging peanuts. Anyway, put down a nice, good layer of packaging peanuts, like so. And then you're going to put your reuse on there. Now, what I always do is I give it a little bit of an angle. So it's always pointing down a little and it's laying flat. You're going to always want to give it... It's always going to want to be on its back. Because believe it or not, when stuff ships, most of the time, it's not upside down or sideways or stuff like that. Sometimes, and most of the time, they do put it upright. So you're trying to just bang on the law of averages. Think of how much does ship across the United States and how much actually makes it. So for every horror story you see, there's a thousand good stories. Fill it up with packaging peanuts. Not too high. Now, if you notice, there's absolutely nothing in the star case except for reuse. And then we're doing packaging peanuts on there. And then what you do, I've got to look in my basket of tricks. Let's 
second. You keep talking to him while I'm down here. I don't know what Mike's looking for, otherwise I'd tell you. But, uh... Aha! Yep, he found it. Now, because it's me shipping, obviously you get stickers. So we're going to have to put stickers in there for authenticity. Always. And then, uh, business cards, obviously. Alright, now. This is ready to go. Good to go. Safety, safe, safe. Good card figure in a safe box. It's never going to go anywhere. It's never going to hurt. Always minimum, three pieces of tape on the top, one across the middle line, one on the bottom, one on the other. So here we go. Perfect. Now it's ready to go. It's ready to ship. We'll do another one that teaches you how to ship stuff. But here, Justin, let's give it the test. All right. So Uh-oh. We're going to throw it. We're going to stomp on it. Uh-oh. He's actually doing that. He's, he's, yeah. I have faith in my shipping. He's, he's beating on it. Okay. A little bit. I, so wow. there we go. And when you get something like this in the mail, you're obviously nervous. Yeah, you like Ace ventura that thing. It's totally destroyed. Do you think he's still okay in that? I don't know. Neither do I. HDS, sir. How are you this afternoon? <laughs> All righty then. All righty then. <laughs> but here, we're going to open them up and we're going to find out. Brought a... Sounds broken. Most likely, sir. I bet it was something nice, though. Here, you want a knife? Yeah. Do you... Oh, no, I got one. Let's see how he made it with our star case. I feel like I'm watching a magic trick right now. I know, right? Do you think it'll be okay? Do you think it's destroyed? It's up to you. Who knows? I'm going to say it's going to be okay. I'll it's take... pretty rough. Look I'll... at that box. Yeah, it is. You, I, mean... I mean, dude, you're 6'8", and you took a full-on stomp on that yeah. thing. So. You know, you got to put it through the paces. <laughs> Mike Havens, quality control expert. Here you go. All right. Well, you get your stickers, which is always nice. There we go. So that way, even if it is broken. These are mine now. Oh, look at that. It did pop off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good thing we resealed it, so that's still okay. Yep. But don't beat on your boxes like that. I guess that one didn't work. Let's try another. But that is the way you ship. It's a problem. I did go crazy on the box. You did a little bit. But what do I know? Hopefully there's no insane postman out there like that. Yeah. Except well, for you know mine. what? Technically, if you look, there's no real, nothing really There's no damage. I think the bubble was just loose in so, general. Yeah, but it already fell off the card. So you want to try it with a real mint? You know what? Reuse is actually tape. No, I don't want to try it with a real mint on card. That would be bad. I got a Luke Gunner over there you can practice <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, sure enough. Yeah. Or yeah, a 21. Boba Fett. You got a Boba Fett somewhere? I do, yeah. You want Yeah, it? throw a 21 back Boba on there. I got a 21 back Luke up there you could uh, play with. Yeah. No, not really. <laughs> but anyway, it will make it, and I've shipped like that a million times. Don't put anything inside the star cases. That's my personal tip. Um, here is Reese. He's now I saw a guy one time it. that uh, actually, when he would ship these, and this is a question I had for you, yep. he had like custom cut foam that and would go that. right and along. That's the edge what of we're that. gonna do again. Would that work, but, uh, or do you still think that that causes I'll show you. a problem? Okay. Yep. What we're gonna do is we're gonna. Make an official recard here. So hold on. Which is this is gonna be the worst recard in the history of recards. Oh, okay. The only the only acceptable one is the one that just looks terrible. So it's that got, way everybody knows. It's got pieces of tape this big across yeah. this. Well, you know, <laughs> reused reuse. That's, that's good. Nobody will ever confuse there us. We like, like Look at we, that. Huh? Yeah, we would try to pass Man, that off as pop the, this baby on eBay. <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> Factory error tape job. PayPal gift only. That's right. Or <laughs> add 4%. Okay. <laughs> if you don't have a star case, you can go with this. Just grab an old postal box, old box, whatever. You want to make a piece that'll cover the entire card back. Like this. Yeah, right. And then you want to cut another piece that'll go around your bubble. Like this. Ah, okay. So then what you do is you get it right. And then, can you guys see this? <laughs> And there we go. How about that? Beautiful, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it looks like this. There you go. You want to really hold it? Right no, now? I was just going to show an oh, example. Oh, the zoom in. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the zoom. But what you're going to want to do is tape it flush against the other piece of cardboard. So all you're doing is reinforcing the two pieces of cardboard together. We don't have quite the production budget of Lucasfilm here at the Nerd Cave. Yeah, but, uh, but you know what? I want to see Lucasfilm teach you how to ship a vintage Minon card. Figure. There you go. Yeah. 
it's going to be a good one. So there. There, there you, you go. go. Now, you also take a little bit more here. It's like Mr. McFeely's uh well, I brought a bunch of stuff bag. to teach you because people Sp always ask. <laughs> Speedy delivery. So you know what? Hey, man, if one person listens and that saves one of these men on cards, then I'm happy. I'm all for it, bro. It should be a piece of cardboard, Justin. That's extra. Am I looking? It looks like this. Looks like that. Some place. Could we use this? Sure. No? Yeah, let's just do whatever. We'll use that. All right. Improv. All right. <laughs> Scalpel. <laughs> Scalpel. Okay. Then you're going to want to put a piece on this side of the bubble. See right there. We really got to get to that third cam for the show. Well, we'll get to it eventually. Yeah. This is our first time. And hey, Episode one. Some good stuff. Episode one. And Justin's one of those people that he always believes that everything has to be perfect, but content is more important than perfection. I've been up here working on these cameras for like four hours. There you go. No, they look great. Look at us. Yeah, I'm in looks 1080p. Good. You can see every blemish on my bald head, <laughs> which is nice. But uh, <laughs> all right, so we got that. And then what I suggest is build one of these. It's just four pieces of the cardboard. Make it a little bit bigger than the bubble. And then Let me get a little do. zoomed in uh, picture yeah. of that so people can see exactly what we're talking about there. All you're trying to do is you're trying to build something around the card and the bubble that doesn't allow the card to move, but also doesn't touch the bubble. So all it is is it's five pieces of cardboard. One, two, three, four, five. Five pieces of cardboard, and then uh, they're just a little bit bigger than the bubble. So what I'm going to do is I put them like this, as you can see. And if you zoom in here on the bubble, you will notice... Nothing actually contacts the bubble. Now this gives it protection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape that down. And see, we're only taping to cardboard, so it's not gonna hurt anything. It's not actually anything to do with the carded figure underneath. We're just building a, a wall around it. Now, there you go. You have your men on card figure in a perfect box. What you do is you package it up just like the last one with uh, the bubble, uh, the, the packaging peanuts. But it's it's solid. Uh, do we have anything with weight to it? Here. Here. This lamp. <laughs> this lamp is decently heavy. It's sitting on the bubble of the men on card. Not going to do any damage. It's not going to do any damage when it's inside the package. Um, when it's safe inside a good box. So just put it inside a good box. Add some stickers if you want. But uh, look at that. I mean, Yeah, that's pretty solid. It's like... And now we will unwrap and see if our bubble is still intact. But it's going to be because that didn't move anywhere. So that is a cheap and easy way. Safely transport them in on card figure. Bingo. But uh, I still prefer the star case. Just don't jump on the box. <laughs> now, let's learn how to ship him in an acrylic. We're going to have to get him out of this one. Acrylic is the next level. Lots of stuff comes in acrylic. Um, if it's AFA, you can't do the first part I'm going to show you here. <coughs> Excuse me. But if it's not, then you can. Sure, look at how nice that opens right up. For your Just Slides right out. For your customer. There you go. That's garbage. Okay. Acrylic. GW acrylics? People like acrylics. That is a GW, yep. People like acrylics. Um, I like acrylics. They make the card pop. Uh, this one. I, I got a few. We will open up and we will put reuse in there. Look at that beautiful, nice, flat mint on card slides right in the acrylic. Like day one. Here's my question to you. Yes. 
when you are putting stuff into acrylics like that, mm -hmm. let's say that you do have a bowed, creased, or whatever card back. Yeah. What's the best way to get it into the, the top? The best way to get it in there is when you have a remote control toy and you rip off the old remote control metal antenna thing. Ah. And that way you can make it longer and push it out. You know what I use? No. Popsicle sticks or chopsticks. You know what? A uh, lightsaber blade will also fit in oh, there. Oh, so okay. Out, cool. Because yeah. I have one on my table there and I've used it before. Because as as when we were putting up my wall here, I had Drew actually putting a lot of my figures in cases, and she would come to me and she'd be like, "This one doesn't fit." Yeah. And I'm like, "Okay, so what we did there? You're we, doing it wrong." We did a ruler <laughs> at first, yeah. But what I, the problem with that was, some of those rulers have that metal edge. Oh yeah, and, that was and it caused it yeah. caused a scrape on one of my. Uh, yeah. I won't say which one because it's real. Okay, yeah. it was a twenty bag Jawa. Oh, uh. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, and I was gonna send it to AFA, but not anymore. Sorry, Jawa. Um, yeah, so just be careful when you're doing that. Well, with the acrylics, what you want to do, here's the thing with acrylics, any acrylic, doesn't matter which company makes it. You see that movement? When something's shipping, that's dangerous. Yep. That's actually a Letty reuse. I just noticed it's a Made in Mexico card with a hole in the back. Huh. There's a hole in the back of Made in Mexico cards. Well, most of them. Do, do, supposed do, to be do. Yeah, sure enough. <laughs> you know, you know. Anyway, so this moves, right? So right. you don't want that to be happening in shipping because it damages the sides, it damages the bubbles, it can knock the bubble off, stuff okay. like that. So what I do is I take... You know, I honestly did not know this. Really? Yeah. It bounces around? Did not know yeah, this. Yeah, dude, don't... Yeah. And regular acrylics don't just ship because yeah, it'll, did it'll not, pop okay. your bubble, man. Learning moment for your IC yeah, admin. There you go. It's himself here. That's okay. You're going to want to take two pieces, okay. two sheets. You're going to want to roll it up like a tube. Or something else. <laughs> You're going to want to stick that in there and you see what I'm doing. Okay. Make a little snake. Notice the whole time this card isn't moving anywhere while I'm doing this. Right, yeah, yeah. It's planted. Now, Justin, try to move that card back. Not it in a billion years. Cannot. Are you going to move it an inch? Cannot. Now, you want to make sure that the bubble is away from this piece the the holder piece right Can but look, zoom in look on that? you can't look at this i zoom in on that. i don't even have the bottom on right now there we go sorry yeah no you're fine so you make the snake but you want to make sure the bubble is not being touched by this bracket right here and it's not and then this bubble holds it so it's safe you want to slap it back together if you can aim <laughs> properly slap it back together and then it's ready to ship. Now, to ship this, usually what I do is I have boxes that fit acrylic. So I can get that's going to fit properly, I, I get. But um, if you don't have a box, that's okay too. If you still have the AFA baggie, I suggest putting it in that. If not, you can just use regular ordinary bubble wrap. I should have more bubble wrap here somewhere. Because I always suggest more than less. So... We will wrap this up here. You always want to keep that bubble facing up. You always want to know which side that bubble is facing. Get it nice and wrapped there. Use a piece of tape. And then me personally, whichever side is going to be the bubble side, I like to put on a sticker just so I remember where the bubble is. There's the bubble. And then we package it up again, 12 by 12 box. Always use fresh boxes if you can. You can't always use reboxes, that's fine. Um, I usually redo boxes when it's something small or it's something little or I'm shipping something for free or something like that. But if, you know, if somebody, if somebody puts in the money to give you money for a nice mint on card, you know, you should make it nice for them. It should be the way it is. Um, always three pieces of tape, bare minimum. Remember from before. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Always give it a press because you never know. Then you want to go these popcorn peanuts. Remember, we're always going to want to do a little bit of an angle so we know the bubble's right there because of our sticker. So when you say angle, you mean like. Like here, look. This is flat. Okay. Do you okay. see how it's on it a down It kind of slopes angle. down, yeah. yeah like so right bubble here. bubble down. Right. Bubble down. Okay. You got a pen? A pen? 
Or a I sharpie do. or anything? Uh, yeah, and a bowl over there. I'll go get my bowl. Perfect. He's going to go grab us a sharpie. But I'll show you where it is. And we're going to uh, pack this up better. Heads up. Perfect. But uh, this is the Minon card, just so you can see. It goes like that. So I keep it on an angle. Pack it in nice, nice. Stickers, because you always need stickers. Business cards, because you always need business cards. Come on, man, those were mine. Nope. Nope. They've been reshipped. Your reuse is being sent <laughs> off to Cambodia anyway. <laughs> so I can't help you. And then there you go. Here's the other thing. I do not write fragile on everything. Because you can have it, man. <laughs> I started, well, you know what I did? The reason why I have so many Death Star droids is because when everybody started bleaching them, I started buying them up to save the Death Star droid. I really did. I have like 70 of them. And they're not for sale, so too bad. That way, if everybody does go crazy one day, I'll still have some normal ones. Anyway, three pieces Drug of tape, bleaching. bare minimum. Here's the trick. Don't write fragile. Because then it's a I'm target. telling you, man, everything I ship with a fragile sticker or a fragile label or fragile in writing or please don't drop or please this side up, I feel like some mail carriers look at that and go, why are you trying to tell me how to do my job? And they go. And then that's how your box gets to wherever you're going. And it gets beat up. But even this way, at least if you do it properly, it's going to be fine. And now what we're going to do is this is a re-taped, re-bubbled, re-yeast. We just did shocks. We did drops. Do I do, 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 do another stamp? Nah. No stamps? Okay. Let's crack Now, it I've out. seen you in some cases, uh, stuff that you shipped, I've seen you draw... Like where the bubble yeah, that's because I have well, I have these special boxes that specifically fit these things. Like so, the, I'll put another box around mine instead of that bubble wrap. Okay, okay. So it's another box, and then I put a drawing on it. Got it, got it. Got it's got not it. a good drawing. Don't get excited. Then you open it up, and you have your stickers, and then you open up this. Now here's the trick I wanted to show you. Now this bubble, we put on this bubble, and it's hanging on by a thread. But this will show you that with that tube of bubble wrap inside the acrylic. It really holds the card so tight, it's never going to go anywhere. And some people will say, oh, don't push bubble wrap against the card. It's fine. It's fine. It has worked a million times. It's fine. And look at that. Looks fine. Now, I threw that over my shoulder, stomped on it, hit it from every side there was possible. You get this in. Your customer gets this in. It's very, very simple. They open up the acrylic. They pull the little bit that's hanging down there. And there is your beautiful mint on card reuse that went through a heck of a time getting there poor guy but it's perfectly fine so that's the way you ship that you now go. with afa you cannot put that in there so with afa what i try to do is i try to use a 12 by 12 box instead of the 12 by 6 by 10 okay so it's bigger and i try to fill it with a ton of either bubble wrap or packaging peanuts or something like that because it's just in this chasm got it so it's you know yep it's tough to ship those. Um, what else do we have? I think that's about it on the shipping front. We taught you how to ship mint on cards in uh, star cases, in yep. acrylic, in AFA cases. We showed you how to ship loose in boxes and in bubble mailers all over the world. And uh, what else? I think that's it. I think that's shipping. All right. So if you have any questions about any of this, you can post them to, uh, we're going to post this on YouTube, obviously. Yeah. You can leave us a comment there, or you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash The Imperial Commissary. That's where we're all hanging out, and if you have questions, you can feel free to PM Mike or myself, or comment on the thread of this video, because we're going to share it, obviously. I forgot Galaxy. to put stickers on the boxes. All right. I always put stickers. There we go. This is a Collector's Galaxy sticker. Yeah, and if you're a podcast fan, we do a podcast oh, every yeah. week. we do do a podcast. From this very room. Room, actually. Do do yeah, and we have the Facebook and we do the the internet yeah. with the uh, Instagrams and the Twitter pictures and the tweets. <laughs> we tweet things. <laughs> so yeah, check out the Imperial Commissary. We try. Imperial We're old guys. We're, we don't check out Facebook. You did the Facebook group. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash the Imperial Commissary. Commissary. Sixteen subgroups. Uh, in addition to that, Facebook.com slash SW Collectors Galaxy for the podcast. We're on There's iTunes. Sticker. Stitcher, I'm getting covered up with stuff. The stickers. Uh, tune in radio. Stickers are great. Google Play. Google Play. I got us on yep. Google Play. You're welcome. Google Play, I'll take it. 
And uh, that's yeah. for us Android users. That's right. That's and for us nice. Apple people, it's weird Android users. It just works. So uh, yeah, that'll do it for ICTV it. episode one, right? Yeah, I don't think it was too bad. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reach out to you guys on the Imperial Commissary, and uh, I'm gonna put up a contest because what we need is we need a theme song. Mm. So we're going to need a theme song to start off this show on every episode. We're also going to need some tips from you guys as to what you want to see, what you want to see us do. And uh, we will take your suggestions and we'll do our very best to tell you everything we know. Star Wars related. Star Wars re- Yeah, well, yeah. I Star Wars related. Really- look around you. I don't know much about anything else. So. <laughs> well, I don't know. You said that we would do whatever they wanted us to do. And I'm like, yeah, Star well, Wars related. Star Wars related. <laughs> <laughs> and I and no slave Leia bikini for me. I'm sorry, it's not happening. Uh, well, you know, Mike, it, maybe it depends on what the money looks like. Hey, if it comes <laughs> with fifty grand and I can buy a rock fire boat, I don't know about fifty grand. What? Maybe like five million dollars. I somebody wants to throw fifty G's at me. I will put on a slave Leia bikini There's right here on this show. There you go. One hundred percent. There that's you go. Not bad. No, you should be. That's dangerous, man. Be a good payday. A lot of collectors with a lot of money out there. Hey, come at me, bro. All right. You heard it here first, folks. We'll see you next time. All right. Take care. Bye.